So we are extremely happy to have you tonight. Thank you. Uh, Isol is an illustrator from Argentina. And uh, I must say she's definitely one of my favorite illustrators. But I'm not her, her only fan, I suppose, because uh, in 2013, she received the Hans Christian... No, Astrid uh, the, Sorry, the Astrid <laughs> Lincoln uh, Memorial Award, which is, in fact, the most prestigious uh, award an author or an illustrator for children can ever hope to, to receive. And uh, she has also been translated into many languages. Uh, can you say how many? Mm, 17. 17, well, and also in Dutch. Four of her books were translated into Dutch, and you can buy them, I think, afterwards. And they're beautiful. So she was born in uh, Buenos Aires in 1972, and she studied arts. But she became a multi-talented Jacqueline of all trades, in fact, because she can illustrate, and she illustrated more than 10 books for children. And her latest is, in fact, not really exactly for children only, as the other books aren't. Either, I think they also appeal to adult readers and watchers, in, in, especially. Uh, she also illustrated for Paul Auster a story and uh, for the Argentinian poet Jorge Lugan. And uh, she's also a successful cartoonist. And moreover, she's a graphic designer. And on top of all that, she is a singer and a composer. And we hope she will prove that she can do it mm. after our today. conversation. Hmm? I, I, I don't have my voice today. Oh, too bad. Very good. <laughs> well, but you must believe it. But we had a test slide. Um, Just to give you an idea of the style but it's a bit dark, maybe. Yeah. So, there must be quite um, a difference between yeah. 20 years. Yes. Yes? Well, uh, in that moment, uh, I was more, I don't know, uh, I, I, I used to make um, very heavy drawings, in a way. I, uh, I just recently went out to my school of fine arts and I, I did the drawings uh, with uh, oil pastel and ink and I was very near to some painters I liked, uh, the informalists like De Buffet or um, Cobra um, group. Uh, I really like this uh, style, so free and savage in a way, wild. Colorful. Yeah, yeah. But you know, when, when I did this book, uh, the, I, sent him, I sent it to a contest. Uh, the contest was in Mexico, not in Argentina, uh, because um, in that uh, publishing house they publish books that I liked, but um, they uh, didn't uh, give me the prize because they they told me that my characters were psychotic ones. <laughs> In that moment, I realized that uh, not everyone laugh about the same things. Uh, in Argentina, uh, we have a very strong uh, history about uh, comic and about crazy characters, and in Mexico. Um, they are not so expansive in a way. I tried to adapt myself, but I couldn't because I really loved this scene. And uh, as an illustrator, I used to, to find first the image and after the text. So if I, if I 
they would change the the image it uh, was not my book so i've tried to I've tried to change it. In fact, the original one um, had uh, one of the eyes, the double of uh, this. Um, but I, I told them that for me, this craziness uh, was fun. And I make a six pages letter explaining all my decisions in the book. Because even if you think this is colorful, for them, this wasn't uh, colorful enough. They say, it's for children. You have to make uh, more, more colorful things, not only three strong colors. Um, so um, I had to explain. And this was very helpful for me, because I uh, started to think about what I was doing, what I've chosen these things. Um, well, so they accept my decisions. And well, I started in that moment, but uh, now I have a lighter line. Yes. I can, I can. This is the latest book. Uh, meaning we can see it. And the claim here. that it translated into Dutch. It's just come out. It's and uh, yeah, thank you. And less colors. I use yes. less colors. Yeah. Um, why? In this book, um, I I was thinking about like um, nature uh, observer. You know, these guys are sketching, uh, looking at the animals, like in medieval times, yes. uh, an animal that you don't know very well, but you are mm, uh, learning to know, and you are inventing some of the things, and you are. Mm, not uh, making a uh, realistic thing, it's to explain to others, well, this is a kind of being that, that uh, uh, looks like this or, or that. And since this book um, has a longer text than others, um, the more um, funny thing, is, I think, it's about the text in this book, is how I describe this being that is so strange in a way, and I describe in a way that is like I don't know uh, how to explain these wonderful capacities uh, he has or it has. Is it based on your own experience with your? Yeah, mini yeah, in my inexperience uh, <laughs> as a mother, my my first child. So he was uh, the object I have <laughs> close every day. So yeah. I you could observe. Yes, I could observe yeah. and 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 uh, being uh, like yes, an uh, investigator or detective, trying to understand and making some uh, putting some humor because sometimes it's not uh, it can be very uh, stressful thing to because you you don't know his language and, and, mm -hmm. and you are trying to help him but you don't know why. Uh, so yes, yeah. this book yeah. came from that. It's beautiful. Thank you. But uh, most of your stories are unpredictable in fact. Unpredictable. When you read, well, you never know nice. where it's going to end and they're full of <laughs> funny uh, twists and rebellious uh, they are a bit rebel, well, very much rebellious, which I like, and also magical. And at the same time, uh, you add some subtle philosophical uh, uh, comments mm -hmm. on the situations. Uh, is that a choice, or is that just the way you are? Is that your trademark? Uh, I think I am choosing all the time. Uh, the things that I want to say, but it's because I am seeing the world in that way. And I think this uh, is the way in which I want to show this narration, this, uh, this uh, stories. I think they are fun or uh, interesting, 
in, in because for me the I am talking about things that I I find amusing or uh, intriguing. Yes. So it's um, I try to surprise because I think uh, any work of art must be like this. Yes. It's so boring when you s uh, reach the end and you say, "Oh, it was obvious." Yes. Uh, so it's. Um, a natural law for me. You have to be original. You have to be not similar to other thing that uh, exists, uh, and you have to surprise in any way. To yes, uh, you do. You, you, you must. You, <laughs> like in this book, you have for to instance, try. Yeah. The Moya Griselda. It's beautiful Griselda. It looks like a well, a traditional fairy tale, but it isn't. It's about a beautiful princess who... It's a beautiful, yeah. It's a decapitates princess. decapitates all her... Yes, it's, it's like that. <laughs> she was so beautiful that mm -hmm. everyone lose uh, her, his head for her. But that is a literal thing. And, so, and uh, yeah. I, I like to, to, to play with these common phrases that we use. Because yeah. uh, this phrase uh, is like a compliment in a way, yeah. but uh, I, I started to, to think, uh, what kind of phrase is this? It's not nice to have this, all these heads around you. What yeah. uh, you can do with this? Uh, in this? In this book, uh, she start to collect them, because uh, <laughs> what you can do with all these heads of people? It's a, it's a power that is so useless in a way, yes. no? But uh, in, in Argentina, at least, women have to be all the sexes they can be. And they have to be all the time, so the most beautiful. But uh, it's uh, like to be mm, an object of the other's eyes. And you have to work a lot to maintain this status. As it, at the end, what is the gain of it? Yeah. Well, in this, in this uh, book, um, it is a nightmare because uh, she, she, she can't go uh, outside. It's all, all, all the time, it's a disaster, you know? And at the end, she's so bored that she invites uh, a very blinded uh, uh, princess to, to have dinner with her. But at the end, she, uh, he perceives her beauty. And, but he had a brief romance. At, at uh, nine months later, uh, she has a baby, and she loses her head. <laughs> that's because motherhood. So beautiful. <laughs> okay. So that's what I mean by very unpredictable. Um, you seem to observe the world through the eyes of a child. Is that also a, a, a conscious choice that you say, I try to unmask the absurdities of the adult world? Mm. Is that yes. what you do, what you want to do? I think that it's a very good um, way to be creative, to put uh, yourself outside the conventions, uh, to see the world in a fresh way. So sometimes you have to explain again a thing that you are used to, to see every day, but you, you didn't think about it really. Um, uh, so for me, children's eyes um, are very interesting as a uh, narrators, mm -hmm. because uh, they are seeing the world in this view. Uh, it's uh, the first time they are here, and as an uh, author, you have to have this freshness, because all we are in the same world and feeling things that are similar, but the thing that is uh, original or uh, no, 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 that is in your soul is uh, the way, the unique way in which you can see certain thing without all these conventions or 
without thinking you already know about it. Mm. So you can think again about this. Yes. Um, and to make a, a thing that is not the predictable. <coughs> yeah. And I really like these characters because of that, because the children is a non-contaminated, uh, not so much yeah. contaminated yes. view. Yeah, that's yeah, why they are so interesting. The and they are so yeah. transparent in a way. Uh, what struck me also is that mothers play a very important part in your books. Yeah. Uh, they can be very wicked and very weird. And uh, like this mother here, this screaming mother. The balloon. Tic Tac. Ah, Tic Tac, but this is not a screaming. This oh, is no, a no, very this nice is, one. This, uh, no, balloon. I mean, yeah, I mean you, you mean the balloon. A globe. El globo, yes. yes. A I can. Globe. I can. With this screaming mm. mother. Yes, it says that. Uh, yeah, one day uh, Camila was uh, had a desire that was fulfilled, and yes. her mother became a balloon, and she yeah. she didn't shout anymore. Yes. Yeah, in, in family secret. Yes, <laughs> uh, but this is a more. Nicer one, I think, yes. with the mother. Yes. yes, because in this one, uh, the mother never returns. Um, but because you you can't be, you can't have everything, you know, a balloon yeah. or a mother. <laughs> uh, but uh, in the next one, um, it was. Uh, she says that her mother is a porcupine. I don't know the. the Porcupine yes. is a stickleback. My mother is a stickleback. Yeah. Um, this one. And uh, very funny. It's uh, because uh, one morning um, she awakes uh, earlier and she sees her mother like this. And but my idea was uh, when I was uh, a child, I used to be to feel embarrassing by my parents because they were like kind of uh, hippie people. <laughs> and I, I wanted to be like the other children that they were with. The, they went to religion and they went to, I don't know, more um, normal. normal things. And um, in my house, everything w uh, were fine. But when I was uh, outside, I felt that they were strange and I wish I had another parents. Uh, but uh, when I, I had the idea to make a story about it, um, because I think it's a very common sense, a yeah, feeling. It's not only me, because when I did the book, many of uh, the parents told me, oh, I felt the same with mine. Um, or this thing about compare yourself with the others. Uh, but um, when I was uh, a child, I felt that uh, uh, well, I, 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 I would I would want to, to be like the other children. And, and in this uh, book, at the end, you can see that the the best friend of this uh, little girl has another type of animal in her house. <laughs> it's because uh, if you are close to somebody, it's always very strange. Um, but in, when I was a child, I, I didn't laugh about it. It was uh, not a nice feeling. But uh, as an adult, I can laugh about it. And uh, it's uh, one of my best-selling book because uh, all mothers uh, are very, I don't know, they feel relief in a way. Yes, I am like a porcupine. <laughs> and uh, at the end, you can uh, draw your own family uh, in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> How they look. Here, the mother of the friend. Yes, this is the bear. Like it's like a bear. And also the bear. father. Yes, and uh, even her friend. Yes. The three yeah. of them. It's a very nice book. And where are the fathers, then? The fathers, um, well, I don't know. My father, I think, uh, he wasn't uh, a problem for me. <laughs> um, he was uh, like a friend. And my mother was 
uh, like the law in a way, you know? So uh, I am not talking about mothers, it's about uh, the convention or yes. the one yes. who is uh, telling you what's what wrong, do. what's right. Uh, and as a girl, it's my strongest reference. Yeah. For, for a boy, maybe it's uh, his father. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you see Anthony Brown books, yes. the father is uh, all the time, yes. and not the mother. That's true, yes. I think it's because you yeah. are trying to find yourself yeah. and you are comparing yeah yourself every every day with the, your reference with your and you mother. have to yeah. cut with this in a moment mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I have more, if you, a bit more time uh, in your speech uh, in your thanks speech for uh, the owner uh, you said uh, that readers should be free to <coughs> understand the story as they like I, I said that Yes, in that moment, you did, and uh, that many meanings are possible, mm -hmm. and that a reader should have the freedom to make his own interpretation of a story or a situation or a mm -hmm. book. That it would be very boring if everything would be straightforward and clear from the beginning. Yes, boring for mm -hmm. for everyone, for the yes. adults and for the yes. children. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Some of, of your books, in fact, ha may have different meanings. Yes, I mean, or not. talking about meaning is not uh, easy because uh, it is not um, a thing that you have to translate in other thing. It's like you feel inspired or not, you yeah. feel it's uh, funny or not, and it's uh, for me interesting to give more questions than answers. Right, yeah. Um, it's a, a, a work is alive when it's living with you and, and it's like you are uh, having a dialogue with the book. It's like the book is sharing with you uh, their discoveries or uh, um, something that uh, it's interesting for the author, but not telling you uh, how you should feel about it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's another rule that is not only for children books. Mm, it's for every book because it's, if, you, if you think that you have to think especially one thing about this, it's not a, a book uh, of artistic book, it's like a manual or a instructions guide, right. you know? Mm -hmm. Do you feel any relationship with Astrid Lindgren? Well, I started to feel uh, some bond in uh, Sweden when I was uh, awarded. Yeah. Because I, I, in Argentina, is not, not uh, known no, no. almost. No? No, no they, they have all the time difficulties to say the, the surname. It's Lindgren, <laughs> they say it's Ling. And I, oh my God, um, I don't know what is this uh, wall, uh, but um, I only knew P.P. Longstocking and uh, I really like this kind of uh, heroines. Yes, yeah, she's uh, your type, I suppose. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> and um, when I was uh, in uh, her town, I, I, I was in the museum Yes. And I, I've learned a lot about her and, and uh, all the things she thought and the, the way in which she managed her life very bravely. Um, and I felt so proud because yes. they thought that I was near her line. Um, so n now it's like my, my aunt yeah. in the sky. <laughs> uh, yes, I really loved it. Love her. Uh, maybe one last question. Uh, were you inspired by um, other modern painters, for instance, or by uh, illustrators? Well, the famous illustrators. 
Um, uh, well, in these days, I I have uh, some very loved illustrators uh, like uh, Wolf Elbruch. Yeah. Um, I like also um, Italian girl Beatrice Alemania and Anne Erbo that is uh, from here. I don't know that maybe What's I'm her name? Anne Erbo. Erbo. Ah, Erbo. Erbo. Yeah. Yes. She's a French. And Kitty Crotter, I really like yes. her. Um, and uh, some uh, French, uh, he's called Olivier Dussou, um, mm -hmm. and they are uh, all people uh, who write and, and, and draw their books. Themselves. Yes, because I, I really think that it's a kind of book that is different of the one that mm -hmm. you do uh, when you are illustrating, because you think in a different way. Because you are imagining uh, the two uh, languages uh, at the same time to tell the story. Yeah. And I enjoy very much how they um, uh, find the way to, to, to show this. Uh, but uh, they are very good illustrators too when, when they are illustrating text from other people. And it's a real challenge when you have to illustrate the text uh, from other author. Yes. For me, we, we are two authors, mm -hmm. the author of the illustrations and yes. the author of the text. Yeah. Uh, because we have uh, two different languages but and different tools, but uh, we have uh, our opinions and uh, we have to find the right way to mm -hmm. lead you to this uh, story. And when I, the first time I came to <coughs> Europe, mm -hmm. I, I bought some books, one of uh, Wolf Elbruch, uh, one of uh, Olivier Dussault, and in that moment I, I thought, this can be a great job, because these books are so great, so you can do everything. Um, it wasn't so realistic, but uh, it was very inspiring for me, because, um, yes, um, it's a, such a powerful a way of um, tell, telling a story. And we call Ferruch with yeah. uh, so great. Mrs. Meyer. With yeah, her it's so birth. nice. Yes. That's also yes. one of my books, I must say. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I have learned a lot from other illustrators, yeah. and uh, I feel very close to some of them. And painters also. Uh, you, you you mentioned yes, uh, the Cobra, Buffet, yeah, Cobra yeah. and uh, I love Rousseau, uh, yes. for example. And when I was uh, a child, my father gave me a big book with uh, Rousseau and other non-painters. You know, yeah. the people who paints, but it's not uh, an academic uh, style. Mm and so crazy and uh, I, I, I have this book uh, still and I, I, I've seen that uh, you have so many ways to, to see the world mm -hmm. and it, I think this uh, perception gives you freedom to, to show, uh, to, to draw because I, I, I see so many people that says, uh, yes, I really like the drawings but I, I don't know to draw. So it's so sad for me. It's not uh, one way to draw. Mm -hmm. It's uh, just to play, to, mm -hmm. it's like to sing. But in, the, in the school, in one moment, you, you stop uh, to express yourself through the drawing because you are a grown up now. You have to write. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of traumatic thing, I think. Yes, did you experience it? Uh, no, because I continued. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> in my house, it was a, a, a valued activity. Yes. Because my father paints. Yeah. Uh, but I think in the school, it's like if you are a grown up, uh, you have you to start to play. read all the uh, books with text. You don't need illustrations. Mm -hmm. That's uh, why when 
you are a grown up and you go to a museum, you are desperate to see the card. What is it? Oh, now I understand. Yeah. So you don't feel free to be or, or to not understand or to or it's like a, it's a, there's a gap yeah. in our grown up uh, life. Mm. Uh, it's a pity because yeah, it's it another language and it's so uh, so old and so um, sincere in a way. You know mm. when you are in in. Uh, you are you have some problems or some people think that you have to analyze you and uh, they ask you to draw things mm. because the doctor can see many things in your drawing yes. so it's a very powerful thing yes. and he said uh, um, you can disguise uh, you can't disguise yourself as mm -hmm. much as with words i think yeah. mm -hmm. So there's lots, lots to say about you, oh, I suppose. They say. <laughs> I wonder if people have questions to ask, because your time is... You, I running. have to, to, have to, to take the train. train. Yes. So, is anyone, uh, does anyone want to ask a question to Isabel? I have a question. Um, did um, did your book change? Your books change, or your work change? Well, now you have children. Does it has an influence on what you want to tell? Um, I think I've changed, so my work uh, shows it. Mm -hmm. But it's not that I now I am making books for my children. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they will like my books. And really, I don't care. Maybe yes, maybe not. But I, I am really happy doing this job. And um, I, I feel close w to children or, or my own child inside, in a way, or close to my characters that are children. But um, maybe I am a bit uh, more uh, tender in my decline uh, mm -hmm. book. Maybe the mothers will be more nice now. <laughs> <laughs> because now I understand. <laughs> it's a very tough work. Um, but uh, yeah. Do you have another question? Yeah, it's just about Argentina. How is it from In Argentina, we have, uh, yes, uh, we are a very book culture. Yeah. Um, we, we read a lot. And uh, we have, uh, yes, some publishers. But the most interesting ones are the smallest, because they take, uh, take more risks. And they know more about illustrations. Sometimes in the big houses, they well, they don't need, uh, they don't have art director. They they only have a person that uh, knows uh, a lot about uh, literature, but not uh, so much about dealing with uh, another kind of book. But it's like the the smallest are taking the risks and. Uh, when some something is uh, going good, they copy the the big the big copy the the thing because it's uh, proved, you know. It's um, the big one, the higher risk, the uh, author of this big publishing house. Yes, I my my first book uh, was uh, not published in Argentina, for example, was in Mexico, and this uh, publishing house from Mexico uh, can take risks because it's a uh, half subsidy for the state. <coughs> so I think the state should uh, be in that, in that place, uh, help uh, to make reality things that are not so commercial. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if not, you are all the time making things that are already tested. So any, uh, anything new can, can uh, appear. 
one last question, maybe. Could you tell us something more about the process of making a book? You said you start with an image, a drawing. Yeah. Uh, it depends. Sometimes I I am drawing uh, and I I see my drawing and I put some phrase. So uh, this dialogue it's interesting. For example, I have a book mm, we don't have it uh, here that is called "To Have a Duck Is Useful" and it's a book that uh, has two stories uh, but with the same drawings. And you, you can see uh, some images, and the first uh, story is uh, this, the things that are happening told uh, by a boy. And when you uh, start again, it's the duck who is talking. And uh, he, uh, the duck is uh, seeing the things in a, another perspective. Um, it's very interesting. But in, the, in that moment, I started with a drawing of a boy with a duck, and I thought, well, now who is talking? And in this moment, I, I realized, well, depends who is talking, the story that you can. And, but others um, are from, from a phrase, like in this Princess Griselda, uh, that the phrase was so strange that leads me to a literal drawing. And others, like this Nocturno, that it has a special ink that glows in the dark. Uh, it, it was, uh, I thought first about using this incredible ink. And to use it, I had to find a story that uh, was um, enough, uh, interesting enough, and, and that uh, was organic with this kind of thing that you have to charge it on everything. You have to make a story that uh, involves this preparation, you know? So sometimes it's uh, from an idea, sometimes it's, but I always want to to have uh, uh, an image. Not, it's very difficult that I only have the text at the beginning. You're welcome. Well. I think we must stop, if you want. How long does it take to make a book? Is there a sort of time? Schedule uh, I, or is it um, changing all the time? Well, I, I used to, to make one book a year. Um, before my kids, one and a half a year. Um, but I am not doing all the time the book. Sometimes uh, I, I let the book for a while because I am stuck or I am in another thing. And that is, uh, that is very good for the book. Because when I return, I can see again and I see, well, this. This was not right, or maybe in this moment it was fine. I was only blocked off for something. Um, and I think um, to take some time is very good for, for the book. In Argentina, uh, we are not uh, very well paid for the books, so uh, you have to, sort, uh, to, to make three books, for example, or four, or, and that is not good because you have to to take the, the first or second idea, because you have to. Some people can do it very well, but uh, not me. Because I, I, I like to, to test different techniques or to retouch the text. And uh, well, I, I need this, this time. Yeah. And do people buy your books in Argentina? Yes, my people buy my books, but uh, they are um, many of them are sold out, yeah, and it's a very big problem. And not reprinted. Yes, but since my main uh, publishing house is in Mexico, and it's also big, uh, they uh, need uh, a lot of months or years to reprint. Mm. So now I am like in a battle with them, because mm. it's so sad. Mm. I receive emails every day looking for my books, and it's horrible, because they want my books and I don't have it. Yeah. It's so horrible. Uh, well, but um, I, I think this uh, would, would change. Mm, but, well, it's a lucky thing that uh, they are sold out, but, um, well, it's a bad thing that they are not in the bookstores, you know. Yeah.
One more question, maybe? Last one? Do you have a favorite book? Can you say it a bit louder? A favorite book. No, oh, it's so difficult. It's like with it's with your son or something. Uh, I used to show the little duck to to show this uh, thing that you can do with the same drawings. Um, um, my best selling is the porcupine and Nocturno. Uh, yes, too, because it's so magic, magical. Yeah. Um, so I, I, some some of these books are very good to for workshops, uh, and some others uh, better for reading. Mm, I I always uh, like more or are, are closer to the li latest, you know, because it's mm. you are close to them. But uh, it's very difficult because each one has uh, some part of the things I I I'm interested to. I can't choose.